<laughs> Did you guys see that dish? The bacon, the maple, brown sugar, the eggs, the home fries. Now, I come from down south, so we love that country cooking. That dish was awesome. But what we're going to do next is go over to Harlem Tavern, where we are dishing up uh, braised bourbon beef short ribs with spinach, mashed potatoes, an absolute treat. So let's head over to Harlem Tavern and see what's going on with the chef. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you for having us. Yes, yes, yes. So let's get right into talking about Harlem Tavern. Um, tell us a little bit about it, how long you all have been in business, and I guess what Harlem Tavern is all about. Uh, we opened 1st of July this year. Oh, okay. Right in the, the height of the summer. Mm -hmm. And it's been a great success ever since. We've been in flying. Okay. What um, type of food are you known for? Uh, we do a little bit of everything. We got like burgers, sandwiches. We do some a lot of fish dishes. We do some great salads, okay. and we have daily specials every day, which the chef likes to change up quite a bit. Nice. Okay. Really nice. Now I follow you guys on Twitter now, and I saw that you have performances, live bands. Tell us about that. The music and the tunes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we try to we try to change that up and do quite a bit of variety. Uh, every Saturday we do a jazz brunch. Okay. But Tuesdays and Wednesdays we like to try it local artists, people from around the neighborhood, oh, wow. and yeah, we've like a, a stack of cards that we've kind of built our way through, and we've been very lucky, we've had some great bands here so far. Okay, that's really awesome that you guys get involved in a community, local artists, I love that, love that, love that. Okay, um, hours of operation, um, yeah, busiest days of the week, like what's the best time for people to come here? Yeah. Um, well, it depends what you're looking for, like, I mean, obviously earlier in the week, and it's a little more mellow, we have the bands on, creates a nice atmosphere and ambiance. Uh, on the weekends, it gets a little more raucous. And, right. <laughs> and obviously we have a big Sunday for football and with brunch and all that. And Monday night football too? Monday night football Monday night well, football. Yeah. What about karaoke? Any karaoke? Uh, karaoke is in the works. Oh, yes. Because I like karaoke. <laughs> I'm going to come back for karaoke. It's in tonight. the works. We're actually, think we're actually going to start up karaoke after Monday night football finishes. Okay. So I think probably the... Uh, to start in January, we're going to start with karaoke on a Monday night. Okay, nice, nice. Um, let's see, um, website, Twitter, Facebook, how can people find out about Harlem Tavern? All of the above, we're, okay. on, we're on it all, so it's harlemtavern.com, or you can find us on Facebook. Okay. Uh, same thing with Twitter, you can just follow us on Twitter, and we'll find out about all the events, the upcoming events, anything special that we're doing. Okay. And um, we have the patio on clothes now, so it's heated for the, yeah. That's right, heated yes. Heated for the winter, and then, so uh, we're excited about that as well. Nice. So I'm just so glad. I can't wait to get into the kitchen and see what um, what the dishes are going to be like. I just you tell me what's your favorite dishes here. What would you recommend that I come back and eat? Uh, the braised short. Braised short rib. Braised short rib. Braised short rib. Or the cedar plank mm -hmm. salmon. If you're cedar plank salmon. Lighter. I'm digging. Maybe I have both at once because I like to eat contrary to what it looks like. But <laughs> thank you so you much, Garrett. Well. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So Sorry. we're going to go into the kitchen and we are going to see what's going on with the food. I'm super, super, duper excited. We're here at Harlem Tavern. And um, yeah, let's go inside and see what's going on. <laughs> so this is our braised short rib. Bourbon braised short rib. Bourbon. Yeah, it's one of our, we'll it's one of our most popular dishes. It's sound really well but the, the, you know, the weather being the way it is. Uh-huh. So uh, bourbon means that there's some bourbon going into absolutely, this? Absolutely, yeah. There's some bourbon and red wine. It's like, you know, it's a, it's a braise. And uh, the gravy on it is pretty rich. Oh, okay. Great. So I got a little bit of salt and pepper. A bit, a bit of sea salt. Yeah. Black black pepper. I'm gonna sear it on the pan. Okay. Just before I do that, I'm gonna toast all the spices that I put into the gravy. Okay. Uh, which give it a really nice flavor. If you toast them, mm -hmm. it releases the natural oils and it works really well. So we're sort of gonna get a, a spicy red wine with the gravy. Toasting the spices. Releases the oils, yeah. Okay, nice. I just learned something new. <laughs> So here we got coriander, mustard seeds, just chop them all in there. Okay. Little black pepper, uh -huh. and then a cumin, small bit of cumin, it tends to be strong. Okay. Now, just 
if that will help. All right. So it's cumin, you said pepper. Cumin, coriander, pepper, and mustard seed. Mustard seed, aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, just while they're toasting, mm -hmm. we can uh, get our pan nice and hot. We want to caramelize the uh, braised beef shortly. Okay. Get a nice color in it and see it in all those flavors. Nice. It'll help with the depth of flavor once we start cooking the oven with the liquid. Woo! Sizzle, sizzle! <laughs> there you go. Let it go. Yeah. Nice. So we got the seasoning, toasting, we have yeah. the ribs. What would that be called? Is that brie? That's it's not just called searing. Searing, and searing. Caramelized yeah. to get a nice crust on it. Okay. Nice. Oh, they're popping. Yeah. Pop. <laughs> now we can mm. smell them. The smell, smell of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. You get them that right? That smells good. Remove the over here. Okay. Now, how long does that have to stay in there and sear? Use a couple of minutes okay. on both sides. Just to get a nice brown, you know. And you just flip them over? Yeah, just flip them over. Okay. Nice. And then what are we going to do with everything that's left over here? We're going to be well, cooking What we're going to do is, here. yeah, what to do is, when we take these out, when we remove these, we throw in the veg. Okay. Like we throw it in towards the end of the cooking. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's uh, sweat or caramelized, the vegetables. Okay. And throw in some herbs, some bay leaves, then we throw the flambe, the, the bourbon. Oh, that's when the bourbon comes yeah, in. Obviously, the that's the most exciting part for me. Yeah. Let's throw the bourbon in. Okay, I'm just and like. Let us <laughs> back to the center. Oh, so, I will definitely yeah. step out of the way. We only cook the eyebrows to go with the ribs. There you go. <laughs> nice. Here. Yeah. Bourbon braised short ribs. Yeah, I'm going to use your saver with uh, we taste the garlic so but just straight up mashed potato. Got some baby spinach and okay. kale. Yeah, bring on the spinach. <laughs> Gotta get all four sides. Yeah. yeah. And so the the spices are done and we're just kind of standing by. Yeah, so you're gonna go in now as soon as uh as soon as this is brown and okay. I chip a little of the grease though. So okay. it doesn't make the gravy greasy, you know. Oh so it's not greasy, okay. Yeah. Makes well, sense. All these brown bits here, the sediment, that's where all the flavor is. Yeah. So French terminology, it's not the deglaze the pan. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. We're learning all these terms searing, saw, what do we yeah. think? Searing, caramelizing, deglazing, yeah. toasting. Nice. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Tip that grease out there. Okay. So. Bye bye, grease. Uh, garlic, onion. Garlic and onion. Yummers. Carrot. Celery. Celery. Yeah. Uh, so colorful. This is uh, just fresh thyme. Okay. Uh, so mm, it smells good. A few bay leaves, so Bay know. leaves. Okay. All right. And what is this process called, what we're doing with all we're this? We're just sweating off the, the onions. Uh, okay. The maripo, the carrot, celery, and onion mm -hmm. uh, to make a base for the sauce. Okay. And I'm uh, going to deglaze and, uh, with the bourbon and red wine. Oh. 
Yeah. It wasn't me, I promise. in the oven. The whole idea of the dish is uh, it's a, a tough cut of meat. You cook it low and slow for about three hours. Okay. You know? And so does this... Uh, and um, it just tenderizes yeah. into like it's fork tender melt in the mouth texture. Okay. That's the whole idea of it. That's why it's so popular. Nice. And what happens to the the, the gravy here? It, it thickens gravy up? Gravy reduces. Uh, it reduces and the flavor gets more concentrated. Okay. And you just get a, a really kick ass sort of spicy red wine. You do get like tones of bourbon. Okay. And um, it just reduces to like a beautiful gravy. Yeah. Of this, you know? Um, so hungry. This, uh, yeah, you gotta, it's important that you, that you seal the top of it with mm -hmm. aluminum foil. Okay. So that none of the steam, steam escapes. Okay. And it cooks these juices. So now we'll cover that up with some aluminum foil. Uh -huh. And then pop it in the oven. Yeah, pop it in the oven. Put the oven on 3 325. Mm -hmm. Pop it in there for like three hours. Three hours. And as it comes out, you have a nice silky mash and some baby grains waiting for it. And nice. you can taste it shortly. All right, going in the oven. Yeah. Here's the hands I want I prepared earlier. Right? Wow, this one's been in there for three hours. Right? Okay. potatoes, sauteed spinach with the ribs and the gravy. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cook, 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 cook. <laughs> well, of course I have to put a bit of butter in there, right? Yeah. I love sauteed Fresh, is that garlic? Yeah, yeah. garlic. Put it yeah. Put it Thank you. 
So now with the, the rib, is this uh, the gravy? Is this thickening up some more? Yeah, just taking them more. I mean, basically what we do is we just keep them based in this. Okay. You know, keep the moisture in. Just thicken up a little more. And uh, let's reduce the sauce picture. I'm just, usually I'll put it in the oven for about 10-15 minutes to heat it up, but okay. I'm doing a stove tap just so you can get a nice piece of okay. what's going on with it, you know, and speed the process up a little bit. Yeah. But the ribs are actually like really tender. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a little bit of spinach in the middle mm -hmm. there. Balance the dish. Just a little tiny juice of that. What is that? A little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And that's it. Voila. Bourbon brains, beef short ribs with mash and bacon spinach. Bourbon braised beef short ribs. Yes! Sorry if that was a little long, but uh, there you go. No, Enjoy. <laughs> All right, it is time to. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so tender. That. <laughs> you don't have to act like I have some manners and type this. I have to take little tiny pieces so I can, you know. Hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. I'm gonna try to mash potatoes. Let's come closer. Get in my belly. This is so good. Harlem Taverns. Bourbon braised beef short ribs. It's about to be gone. It'll be no more because I'm about to eat all of it. Oh. And the spinach, my favorite. Mm-hmm. 
Absolutely. This is so good. Get this. Everybody has to get this when you come here. Mm. Okay.